Top Chef Judge Gail Simmons has recently been called one of the top five most powerful entrepreneurs in food. And now she's about to share some kitchen secrets with Melissa. But first, here's a sneak peek of the new season of Top Chef. Being from Portland, I have to represent well. Once that jacket comes on, it's game on. I had been named one of the 16 black chefs changing food in America. Winning the title of Top Chef is something that is beyond my wildest dreams, but also within grasp. Like, it's so close. I want to be Top Chef because there's a big part of me that carries Japan on my back, and I want to be a stronger and better mentor and a chef. Gail Simmons, I'm super excited to talk to you today. So much to talk to you about, really. Uh, yeah. Yeah, we've got Top Chef, so I can't wait to get into that. But you have got quite the full plate here. You are a host for Dr. Oz's The Dish on Oz, Iron Chef Canada, culinary expert, a wife, a mommy, all in the middle of a pandemic. How are you? Well, that part is definitely, I mean, it's all true. Uh, but truthfully, we're all, we all have full plates. I don't know a single person, parent or not, who, um, who has it easy right now. So we're all just doing the best we can one day at a time and everyone's challenges are different. I feel very lucky that I'm able to work from home at this moment um, and, and you know be able to talk to you. And right now, at this exact minute, things are all okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I can't tell you how it'll be tomorrow, but we're taking one day at a time. So far, exactly. so Exactly. Top Chef is back. 15 of the country's best chefs have traveled to Portland, Oregon. Uh, words to describe the show that come to my mind, epic, culinary showdown, inspiring. What was the reason why you chose uh, Portland as the backdrop for the competition? Portland has a long culinary tradition. Um, it really has an enormously beautiful array of ingredients and food. It's proximity to the ocean, the mountains, and it just felt like the right time to really showcase that beautiful, like really majestic corner of our country. You know, the kids say, you gotta stay woke. <laughs> and I feel like people yeah. uh, in today's climate are a little bit more woke to changes in time for action. And you notice on the show, you hear one chef talk about, um, you know, I had some food and it felt like home or the Pan-African cuisine. Get inspired by this, because this inspired a world. I'm almost in tears that Pan-African cuisine is being featured on such platforms. Do you think it's important to showcase diversity in cuisine? I, I don't think there's anything more important, to be honest. This moment um, has given us an opportunity to really take a hard look at ourselves, how we eat and why, the roots of how we eat, mm -hmm. um, but also how we include and, and um, alienate people from those conversations and how some populations, although their contributions are large, have been overlooked in those conversations for so long, for way too long. And Top Chef is one place where we knew we could talk about it in a way that would really relate to everybody. Yeah, it comes full circle when you think about it. Food, people, how we connect with people. Yes. Speaking of the competition, um, new this year, Gail, is the rotating panel of judges. For the first <laughs> time, a panel of all-stars will be joining the judges table. Hi, chefs. No! <laughs> Talk to yeah. me about that. Yeah. Uh, and, you know, we had to approach every aspect of shooting Top Chef this year differently because of the pandemic. So to think about how to do it in the most creative way, our production decided, well, let's bring in 12, 15 of our past alumni. These are fan favorites, winners, award winners across the board who since being on our show have accomplished so much and bring them back to not only be the diners every episode with us, but rotate being that fourth guest judge with us every episode. And it just added so much to the show because they've been in these chefs' shoes. So they talk with empathy, they give us perspective that we would have never known because of their experience. And they have a way of connecting with the contestants too that I think is really special and it, it exceeded our expectations. They've been in your shoes. They know what you're about to find out very soon. I want to talk about you a little bit more because you've got your cookbook. I love yes. the fact that you kept diaries of your culinary experiences in the book. I did. You know, it's funny. I've always traveled um, with food as the most important thing on my list. You know, anytime I went anywhere my whole life since I was little, really, um, 
wherever we traveled, even with my parents and then growing up and into adulthood, I always kept a little notebook where I would write down everything I ate. And when I went to write this book, I realized I had a stack of these little notebooks. And going through them was so nostalgic, but it also didn't realize like how much I've learned from my travels because so many of these uh, little scribbles appear in my cooking. Thank you so much. Anything else you want to add? Anything I didn't touch on that you want to talk about? Oh, that was great. Just okay. Top Chef, you know, Thursdays, 8 p.m. Eastern and Pacific. So yeah. tune in and I hope you guys like it as much as we loved making it.